My dudes, welcome to the hotline, or welcome back, if I'm lucky enough to have you as a subscriber. Pardon me, let me get this set up. Hey, and if you're new to the channel, I appreciate you uh, tapping in, riding along. Uh, there's a lot of stuff out there you can watch, so I really do appreciate you uh, you tuning in. To my our channel got a kid and a dog also as well so so we all contribute um, real quick one to say thank you and um, share with you guys uh, something from orange track diecast excuse me if you guys don't follow them in it on Instagram do I'll, I'll put their uh, link in my description or in yeah, the description as well as uh, they have a website tune in uh, always have current news tons of cool cars tons of contributions from the community and uh, they dared to ask my two cents on some speed machines so uh, I won't tell you too much more but get over there guys and check them out um, real quick to follow up on the uh, Mattel thing and then being down, you know, a ton in profit earnings as well as uh, stock. But, uh, you know, like I say, I think they're slowly on the rise up. But, you know, the blame's not solely on, on Mattel. And I want to be sure to remind all of us that there's, there's a chain of command. There is an extensive network of different businesses, retailers that are all... You know, the Walmarts, the Targets, the Dollar Tree, they all have distribution centers within the country as well that are being serviced by the distribution centers of Mattel, so on and so forth. So the hiccups happen everywhere. Mattel had that huge hiccup last year, but um, I believe the residual carryover has now dissipated, you know, um, from, well, I don't know, because I can't tell you why the stores are empty, but it sounds like that's changing. Uh, some guys are finding cars. Not necessarily Mattel stuff, but they're finding cars. So get out there. Don't forget to look. Which reminds me, the homie Jeremy. Uh, I, I've been hunting this this Wally World, and uh, I've touched this car a couple times. And uh, this just reminds me of what I still don't know. So check it out real quick. My dudes, you always, always need to check Walmart. Look at the pegs there's literally nothing of substance so no hot wheels other stuff is really scattered and tore up and in disarray I'll clean it up here in a bit but do you see what I see yeah look at this an ultra red chase just sitting here on the ground someone else bought the regulars and this was the chase beautiful always look keep the hunt up guys there you go um so me and the homies have missed out a couple times but you know just uh do, do your homework uh know what to look for you know m2 no longer stickers their cars so you gotta know what to look for in regards to chases and um, congratulations to all you guys who scored some. You know, I know they're a real reward. Uh, I still have those feelings and reservations about some chases, but mostly just the fact that it's a chase. That not only are they got us hooked for our dollars, but you know, now we're chasing a dream. So, you know, here's your dream London Fog. But what I wanted to do is, I wanted to, um, I wanted to be a collector, so I thought to maybe swoop back and open some cards with you guys. I got a few cards I wanted to open, and um, because I'm anxious, I kind of preemptively opened one, but I have these 97 Corvettes, blue card there, another blue card, that's why that one's empty, because I had doubles, and then I have the third one I got from Yukio, the Japanese card with the red stealth on there. And remember, the stuff back in the 90s, um, that you, you, you'd either get 
the red or the blue stealth. The red ones were a hat were a later release, so those are a little more rare. But I was able to get this C7, or excuse me, C5, and this '97 is the start of C5 Corvettes. A, B, they were more muscly again. This is when the muscle started coming back. A little haywire as far as going around corners and stuff, but but still a great car. Um, if you like vets, you know, again, the C6 never really appealed to me. C7s, uh, you know, they, they, you couldn't help but gain attention because it was such a dramatic change, but, you know, you know what I mess with. Anyways, but this one's beautiful. And this USA 1 livery, you know, I'm no xenophobe, don't get me wrong, I love all countries. Uh, but, this this America livery it goes you know we're definitely one of the only countries that have a excess of flags flying I live in Montana so there's still trucks driving with double flags on the side you know and like t-shirts and boxers and everything you know and like we almost forget where we live you know but I, you only realize that if you travel you know and and hey that's no insult to us patriots and Americans and proud countrymen but uh, it is it is kind of funny to see, but there, I think with that, that's a, another reflection of our pride in the nation. But the pride in this Corvette, huge, huge, you know, and we threw that V8 in there. So you got back to like 360 horse and Hot Wheels did good with this with the five spokes. And again, uh, that crazy blue speckle paint. I hope this really helps, but we move on. Got a couple more vets before we get into the real highlighters show next one uh, all the river and town deer assembling outside they're beautiful but up next is this 55 vet ooh corvette roadster yes it is love that dude. love that dude he had a babe on there a lady on there last time who's that she definitely brought a little little uh, zest to the show but this particular 55 vet was from a walmart exclusive set which who knows what's exclusive anymore because you can find it at your dollar tree ebay on my facebook page probably for sale because i buy so many of these vets because i can't stop but uh this was a set of gosh 10 10 vets so if you're on there but this little 55 man that that it's like a matte, but also a, a semi-gloss yellow in the red interior. I love it. Wish they would have finished the rear end. You know, I know they did the headlights, but I'm looking for more. The grill's great, you know. I'm just looking for more. I'm looking for more, man. Give me some more, Mattel. I got a little more. Behind that, I got this. The C6. Like I say, I'm not a big fan. The body styles are great. Look at how aerodynamics really came into play there. Horsepower definitely was a, a lot more... You know, you was approaching the higher end side. They were making more uh, uh, various trim levels and versions. But wasn't exactly what I was looking for. Everything's personal preference. I don't know what car you guys love. I don't know if you like waffles or pancakes. I know what I like. What do you like? Maybe you like crepes. Maybe, maybe not. I do like this vet though. These PR, PR fives. Looks like a big wheel, small wheel combo. They did do the headlights. That orange striping drad. I mess with it. I mess with it, officially. Plus I mess with vets. So there's that. And right behind that, I wanted to open one more. This is all random. This... I'm gonna... You know, I pride myself in being a collector, so I'm gonna be the guy who hopefully uh, does the taboo stuff, or I think a lot of collectors do this. I know collectors that don't have any stuff carded so i'm gonna open cars i want to open like this crazy porsche 36 or 962 excuse me this is a crazy car porsche really broke the mold on this one you know they built i think in a 
I actually believe it's a 70s car. Let me let you guys get a good look at it. I believe it was built in the 70s originally. Let me get that thing in focus. Bear with me. I'm pausing you. We good. But, uh, I, 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 I believe it was 70s. But none the matter. They ran this car for like 10 years. Because it kept winning. So the design is just... It, 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 it's timeless and it's an apparent winner and if it wasn't winning it was on a podium Porsche man they they, they know this thing looks like a stinking oh I know what it looks like it looks like a like a uh, astronaut helmet the front of it looks like an astronaut helmet here it come you tell me Buzz Lightyear AF. But really cool car. Um, <laughs> I used a V6 in this. You know, which is crazy. And which which is going to be a great point about this next next uh, group of cars I want to open. And it is one of the six packs that Hot Wheels offers. And Hot Wheels are funny because they offer so many different packs. You have a single a one pack you can get a two pack I got a two pack Walgreens exclusive that I love get a three packs now find them at Shields at the Dollar Trees and stuff too or Family Dollars see don't see any four packs have you guys ever seen a four pack I have them in Europe but we got five packs seem to do really well yeah. We also have the six packs, which have changed, and I'll tell you why in a second. We have the nine packs. Then 20 packs, 50 packs. And don't we have a 30 something? Wow. They just get us all around. And it's funny because I'll tell you about the six packs. Mattel offered the six packs first. They started with that like. Before I was born, you know, I've seen stuff older than me. But and and the, and, and and bless their hearts, and we, this is where we thank Mattel in efforts to essentially keep the pricing down and stay at a dollar like they've always been since 1968. You know. They took away the six pack and offered it in the five pack because their do their margin was a little longer, obviously, because you're almost you're not paying as much as you were for six pack, but you're paying all. Uh, they improved their margin, and that's good, you know. Hey, and we were still getting five cars, more than one, you know, and having some more options. So, so for them to do a six pack is uh, is is. Uh, is rare now it's a treat normally and they've done like four this year and what was the first one the first uh first one i missed japanese car culture not a big jdm guy jdm has to be right hand drive that's jdm um then they did the uh, legends legends and zamac did a zamac one too i I just like the Zamax stuff. I guess. Got some Zamax, some loose Zamax too. Uh, I need to get rid of. Sorry, I'm just thinking, watching these deer. Um, and uh, they did. Lastly, what I got. Oh, sorry. I was gonna originally go do this uh, somewhere else, but um, the weather changed on me, so I'm doing it here. Check out my nomadic. Oh, this little 21 liter is so rad. You guys, my links in the description. Nomadic makes the best bags. Hands down. So you guys got to check them out. And to you guys at Nomadic, James, appreciate you guys so much. Thank you. Can't wait to get on the road with this new project with the hotline. And I can't tell you guys too much about it, but hopefully you enjoy the evolution of the channel. It's die cast though, it's always die cast.
Yo, I feel like OG Bobby Johnson right now. You guys know who OG Bobby Johnson is? Yeah. Yeah. Check this bag out. Let me just show you this bag real quick. Look at this. Really cool because A, it's a book case opening. Instead, you got all the, all the room, all the zippers and all the pockets you need. And it's a sling, a padded sling too. So super comfortable. And what I was tucking away is the drink carrier. And it's just a it's very simple but very effective and comfortable drink carrier. And it's just tucked away there. You got that. You got a little outer protected shell pocket. And these things have a uh, have a uh, rigidity to them, so a structure. Um, so they're they're rad. And also the sling is real easy because it snaps. But what I wanted to share with you guys. Because you're here to actually see diecast, but check out Nomadic, dude. Don't sleep on it. Dop kits, all sorts of cool stuff. I'm traveling quite a bit, so bag game's got to be tight for your cars, for yourself. Get back into being a collector, not just what you can get. Get it in flex, though. Flex. I'm flexing. Flexing this Euro five pack or six pack. Did I say five pack? Because the six packs are kind of rare. Fresh. And let me show you. So within this set, there is the Jaguar F type. Crazy bonkers car. Crazy beautiful BMW M4. Where's that Audi? There's the Audi S5, RS5. The Mercedes AMG GT. Look at that blue. Out of this world. The uh, Porsche, the GT3 RS. And then lastly, the Alpine A110. I think it's crucial that we get in closer. Plus, I got some slots open that I wanted to put these cars in and and I don't believe these are big collector you know anything I got this at a Myers grocer on one of my travels to and fro Washington I don't know if I was going or coming but but I went and like I said I got some spots over her look at the card art they're really cool I don't know how many of you guys got this but I believe I paid 14 bucks and even had some like rewards points so maybe 13 that's what I got but let's uh let's look at these cars O M G first let's look at this Jag now what do you know about this Jag y'all the F project what is this like a 2015 yeah 2015 is this thing in focus is it I hope I'm trying to get us there y'all there we go there we go oh glory be um, the F type at this point this was the fastest production car that Jaguar had made this thing had a supercharged V8 I think right supercharged V8 yeah it's a 15 Jaguar F type Oh, 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 oh. And they, it was a really limited run of them. I think they only made 250 of them or something. So, um, a very rare car. Obviously, it's a Roadster, but um, Roadsters drive like crazy from what I understand. I don't have one. I drive wagons. Practical. <clears throat> but this car is bonkers, but it's cool. Because, you know, here's the, here, and here's what's cool about Europe. You know, I, as we were talking about the U.S. cars, you know, you're hearing a lot of V8s, V8s, till we got into Porsche, that flat um, V6. Um, and here you got a V8 supercharged. Move on to some other cars. <laughs> Glory. And this is a cool set because, unlike the main lines and even supers, they finished the uh, the tampos on all these cars. So here you go. You got the BMW, the M4, 
This was when they first actually introduced the, the 4 Series, the M4. And it's it's BMW's, obviously their Skunk Works uh, motorsport division. So it, it's fast. Twin turbo, what? Uh, twin turbo V8 in this? Twin turbo. So you're, you're changing over from a, a supercharger to a twin turbo. You know, and then we got British versus German as well. Or Jag is Ford too, so so you know. But this gold man, and thank heaven, because if they didn't, it would be terrible. But thank gosh they did the headlights and the tail lights, as well as the uh, the uh, emblem, the badge, because it would just be such a crap car otherwise. As far as the offering goes, look at that. Definitely different. Anyway. That's the BMW M4. Show you what else I got. Let's do this too. I got something else I wanted to do. Real quick. I'll put a little different light on it all. There we go. So next up. Oh, yeah. Next up. Ooda, I believe that's me. These things are snug in here too. Is the Audi. RS5 in green. Euro plate, fresh. The four rings, epic. The auto union. If you don't know about Audi, learn. Look at this. I believe this is another V8. Uh, no, V6. This is a V6. Twin turbo to V6 again. Same motors uh, that. Uh, no, this is a BMW specific motor. I'm getting confused. Yeah, BMW specific V6, but twin turbo. This casting Hot Wheels has done a few of, obviously this one uh, in the green, but seen some in premium, I believe. I can't think of where else, but again, these are the cars, man. Get out of the super th in your head. I mean, I don't know. I, I'm not telling you guys that. Because the Supers are a treasure because someone has delegated or decided that they're treasures. But if you're into cars, here you go. This thing's got the cool. It's got the roof panel done. It's a really rad casting. It was 15 bucks essentially. Holla at your boy. Moving on. Moving on. To next up. That's snug in this plastica is the Mercedes the AMG GT GT gosh look at this one man I am so glad I opened these didn't finish the back Ooh. but the front though looks so good um yeah didn't finish the back though but here you go another V8 though just naturally aspirated V8. That's what AMG does, you know. They these Germans are on some different stuff. I love how all the wheels are different so far in this set. Man, just really well. The, 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 I think they picked the six choice European cars. But again, this AMG GT thing, like four, what, 462 horse? Yeah. Yeah, what a rip. What a rip. That silver race stripes, what a rip. All right, cool. Let's go. Next up. There's my car. There's my car. There you go. Want to know how we party? We party with this Porsche 911 GT3 RS. They could have finished the back, but they didn't. But on this case, they did really good on the front. The silver with the orange uh, uh, race stripe. The GT3 badging RS on the side is right. The Porsche word mark on top of the wing is epic too. But I think with such a big and pronounced wing, it's even more difficult to get any kind of um, 
uh, Tampa there, but they managed to get the GT3, uh, the 911 GT3, a little on the back, so who knows? Who knows? But this little rear-engined V6, it, you know what's funny is, this little V6 and this car is has the most horsepower out of all the cars I've shown you so far and is the lightest too. And people are trying to figure out Porsche. Just understand they're built to go fast and go fast around corners. Let me swap that out for something a little different like the Alpine the A110 this little rally beast is a beautifully designed car if you can look at the lines of this one as well as this is a follow up to a car they had in the uh, 60s for uh, rally and stuff and uh, stopped making it so this is this is the uh, homage to it but um, I love this car, you know, the white with the traditional race, you know, black hood to, you know, re reduce the sun glare in your eyes as a driver and the Alpine logo on the roof. Um, they're just, yeah, gosh, just everybody did so much, you know, um, you know, even like if you look back at. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking of the car manufacturers, not Hot Wheels, but like Jaguar, the, the F-Type. It's like an all-aluminum bodied car, you know, so they did what they could to get the weight off, you know, and increase that, that power to weight ratio. And, you know, we just started getting really bonkers on building cars, and that's a good thing. Am I, I mean, and, and, and the, the electric cars are rad. I'm stoked that they're here, too, because they're bonkers in their own right, but. I already chose my fight. I, I, well, I, it's so funny, because I drive diesels, so. Um, I'm not driving a V8. I don't want to pay that gas. But if you're like me, and you drive diesels, you know that that's hella expensive right now. But I love my car. Love the freedom to have of driving it, again, and... That's another uh, pleasantry of living here in the States. So, um, pardon me if I was a little overly excited with my C5 patriotic paint job, but uh, I don't hold any dislike or preference to any of that stuff, man. I just, I just like what I like. And that's cool. So are you guys. So, with that, man, thanks for thanks for riding along. Thanks for tapping into the hotline. If you if you care to do so, hit the like button. It, it matters on this end. I'm, I would be affected positively if you do so. As well as if, if if you're not subscribed already, let's let's hit the sub button. I mean, let me ask you this. What's the worst channel you subscribe to right now? Hopefully it's not me. And if not, let me be the second worst. I'm not asking too much. Hit the sub button. Hit the notifications button too because I got some more stuff planned. Lastly, waffles or pancakes? This is religion politics all wrapped into one. Waffles or pancakes? Do we bring in some other countries and introduce crepes. Holla at your boy. Peace.